Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. From my favorite sunset pictures to this sunrise, I enjoyed coming in today and seeing quite a few of these images that had been sent our way from a gorgeous sunrise with quite a few beautiful clouds that came through. Now, probably a bit too late to see if those skies are visible out at Mount Bachelor. Oh, just a little too dark there. It was very, very, very clear earlier as well as the camera. When we checked out, look at that beautiful image there at Black. Butte Ranch. You can even start to see some of the stars in the sky twinkling. Now, when we have clear skies like this and the moon out, these cameras are, are usable in the evenings, but we're not seeing that full moon like we had last week where we'll be able to walk through those cameras all night long. Here's a look at that mostly clear satellite and radar image and what I've enjoyed seeing the difference between our satellite and radar image where you can have just a few clouds and you can see the precipitation off to the east is when we get to take a look at that warm, dry air to the west, just coming right down there along the coast and moving right through the valley down into southern Oregon with us sitting ever so comfortably right in the middle with some changes headed our way. We have this ridge that started to build in. You see we have that northerly flow. We watch a few of those clouds coming straight down. This is starting to shift for us just a bit. And we start to see a more northerly flow for the whole state. That edge of the backside of that trough right here moving more through Idaho and parts of Montana. And then we have high pressures here and here and then a low pressure to the south. The shifting and the way things are moving here for us are going to allow us to see a very, very clear future track. Watch as our clock starts to move and we begin to see the very few clouds that were there are already actually gone. Now it should stay fairly clear for us for at least a day or so. We're not looking at too many clouds. Well, probably till we get later into the week. And as we get closer to the weekend, we should begin to see a few more clouds here on our future track. By the time we get into the weekend, we could actually begin to see some precipitation. The temperatures, when this initially comes in, are going to be a bit on the warmer side. So we're looking at mostly a chance for rain for that first part of precipitation that comes through. Here are our current temperatures. You can see we're ranging from those low 30s in Madras to those upper 40s in Redmond. We had a very warm day today, well above average. Some of us made it into the 60s, didn't break any record, but definitely got very warm. Temperatures are dropping ever so steadily all the way down until we get to that 6 a.m. hour where we see our temperatures bottom out in the low teens to mid 20s. This is just below average by a few degrees. Tomorrow we'll see those temperatures warm back up to above average. Not quite as warm as today, actually close to 10 degrees cooler than where we were today. We continue in the low 50s through Thursday and Friday, and then we start to see a bit warmer Saturday. Sunday is our chance for rain. Monday, we may even see a rain-snow mix.